It is no secret that organizations in the crypto industry have often clashed with authorities, with Ripple's current lawsuit v's, the SEC being probably the most noteworthy example. However, the SEC is now suing even larger people in the crypto business. Binance and Coinbase, two crypto juggernauts, have become the latest to dispute with us authorities. According to newly published court papers in the Ripple v's, Seek lawsuit Ripple paid six exchanges between $1 million and $5 million to offer XRP on their systems. Ripple's T2 David Schwartz has reacted to these assertions, attempting to clarify the situation. Schwartz's statement followed a discussion by Scam Detective, an anonymous self-proclaimed detective. Remember that the Crypto Basic highlighted Exhibit 220 in the freshly published court records, suggesting that there are reasonable reasons to assume that XREP fails the Hawaii test. Several supporters determined that if this came from the SEC, it would be game over for the agency. However, Mark Fagel, a former SEC attorney, acknowledged that the letter was not written by the agency. Scam Detective also mentioned this in recent tweets. He did, however, claim that Grayscale Investments paper was written by a legal firm. One of the arguments cited by the legal firm to decide that XRP is not a security, according to Scam Detective, is that Ripple did not arrange for XRP trade in the secondary market. However, fresh evidence suggests that Ripple paid six exchanges between $1 million and $5 million in 2017 to list XRP. According to Scan Detective, the Grayscale Excerpt Investment Trust was dissolved in January 2020. One is a result of these charges. According to the accusations, Ripple has been pursuing Coinbase for years in order to list XRP. In response, Schwartz gave insight on the situation's complexities. He highlighted that the assertions made are only allegations and that the true circumstances are complex. Schwartz highlighted the probable mechanisms underlying such charges using a hypothetical scenario. He stated that an exchange may charge a significant cost to list XRP, which Ripple may opt not to pay at first. However, if Ripple subsequently discovers a significant payment integration possibility with that exchange, the corporation might pay for the integration fees letting them to utilize the exchange for auto purposes and mandating XRP's listing on the platform. This payment, however, would be designed to help Ripple's larger objective of developing its on-demand liquidity, ODL, service, rather than just to list XRP. Schwartz noted that this is merely a speculative scenario. He stressed that litigating parties often make claims in the most negative light possible without contradicting the truth. He warned against considering these charges as facts and emphasized the need of conducting a fair investigation. Previously, suspicion circulated that Ripple paid exchanges like as Coinbase to list XRP. Notably, Scam Detective this month questioned Schwartz how much Ripple paid Coinbase to sell XRP, reigniting age-old suspicions that surfaced in a Bloomberg report in 2018. The story of Coinbase listing XRP is the only one I most wish I could tell that I can't. Schwartz said at the time. With the ongoing legal action by the United States Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, against Ripple Labs reaching a critical juncture with the recent public release of Hyman's speech, related documents, all eyes are now on Judge Annalisa Torres for the much-anticipated summary judgment. Essentially, the Hyman papers revealed the SEC's preference for Ethereum over other cryptocurrencies. Hyman maintained that digital assets that were first sold as securities might become non-securities. However, he only recognized Ethereum as a non-security, whereas XRP investors are currently dealing with the Ripple litigation based on the same principle. Judge Torres made a decision in March 2023 on both sides' applications to exclude expert evidence. Since the March ruling, more than 100 days have elapsed and the summary judgment is still waiting. This prolonged wait surpasses the typical time period Judge Torres has taken from Dalbert judgments in past instances, indicating that a summary judgment in the Ripple litigation is possible. Surprisingly, the U.S. Federal Reserve has announced that the FedNow service would begin operations in July 2023. This service will allow banking institutions throughout the United States to offer rapid payment services 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Notably, three Ripple-partnered banks have been engaged for the July 1 launch, Finastra, Volante Technologies, and AC Worldwide. 
This information has sparked debate in the cryptocurrency industry over whether the final Ripple case judgment must be handed before the FedNow service is launched to guarantee complete legal compliance. The progression of these events shows a convergence of conditions that might possibly make July 1, 2023, a watershed moment in Ripple's legal struggle with the SEC. As the cryptocurrency industry observes, the importance of this day may go well beyond Ripple, altering the regulatory environment for other digital assets. According to newly disclosed court filings in the Ripple Vs, SEC's lawsuit Ripple is said to have paid six exchanges between $1 million and $5 million to list XRP. In light of these allegations, Ripple's chief technology officer, David Schwartz, has issued a response to provide some light on the situation. Schwartz elaborated in response to a conversation started by the anonymous self-proclaimed detective scam detective scam detective. Remember that in the newly published court filings, Exhibit 220 was highlighted by the crypto basic as evidence that there are reasonable reasons to assume that RSRP does not, Sarpy does not satisfy the Howey test. If this came from the sex itself, some supporters have said it would be game over for the agency. However, Mark Fagel, a former attorney for the SEC, has said unequivocally that the SEC did not author the paper. Scam Detective has recently tweeted about this as well, but he also claimed that a legal company drafted the agreement on behalf of Grayscale Investments. Scam Detective said that the legal firm's conclusion that x is not a security was supported, in part, by the fact that Ripple does not facilitate x trading on the secondary market. However, recent findings suggested that Ripple spent between $1 million and $5 million to six exchanges in 2017 to list XERP. Scam Detective determined that the Grayscale XERP Investment Trust dissolved in January 2020. One, due to these charges. According to the accusations, Ripple has been after Coinbase for years to offer XRP. In answer, Schwartz provided some clarity on the situation's complexities. The assertions made are, he stressed, only allegations, and the truth is far more nuanced. Schwartz provided an example to illustrate the processes that may underlie such claims. He elaborated that Ripple may initially choose not to pay a hefty price requested by an exchange in order to list XRP. The only way Ripple could utilize the exchange for auto purposes and force XRP's listing on the platform is if it subsequently discovers a chance to develop a worthwhile payment connection with that exchange in which case it would pay for the integration fee. Instead of only listing XRP, this payment would help Ripple achieve its greater aim of increasing its on-demand liquidity, ODL, service. Schwartz made it clear that this is just conjecture. He stressed that litigants often make charges in the most negative light imaginable without really contradicting the truth. He warned against taking the charges at face value and emphasized the need for a balanced assessment. You may recall that claims appeared in the past suggesting that Ripple paid exchanges like Coinbase to list XRP. Notably, this month, Scam Detective questioned Schwartz how much Ripple paid Coinbase to include XRP, reviving long-standing suspicions first reported in a Bloomberg piece in 2018. The story of Coinbase listing XRP is the only story I most wish I could tell that I can't, Schwartz said at the time. 